Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the National Guard products number 200SA. This is a door sweep, obviously. This is, a, uh, this is an excellent choice for a door sweep. Why? Well, first of all, it's dimensionally uh, complementary to practically all applications in terms of its height, the amount of length of reach of the uh, seal material. The 200 is representative of the profile of what this is, and the S stands for silicone, making this a great choice. It's, uh, the common material that you're going to have in a sweep like this, a client will, in typical door distribution, you'll sell just a regular set of weather stripping. It's probably going to be a vinyl, very thin vinyl uh, commodity style sweep. If someone says, "Give me a heavy duty sweep," I want the give me something better. The, the parlance of the of the of the construction trade, uh, it'll be this. It'll be this typically, however, with neoprene installed in here. This is silicone. I like the, the pardon me. I like the silicone because it's significantly more. In my in in my estimation, it's significantly more flexible. Okay, allows the door to give me ultimately a better seal in my experience because. It's uh, more flexible. It's going to allow you to tighten that up a bit better on the bottom of the threshold, okay? And still allow the door closer to do its job. You know, if you've got something far too rigid down at the bottom, um, you know, the door closer, your installation might have to be slightly compromised where you can cheat the margin a bit tighter when you've got, to, when you're working with something a bit more flexible. I also like this on an incredibly irregular surface because its flexibility allows if my fingers were to represent the irregular floor surface, it's a bit better at contouring itself to, you know, a variance in the floor surface. Um, has very good, of course, uh, temperature uh, properties, cold temperatures, uh, etc. Stays a bit more flexible in my experience. Is gray, very complementary to the A in the part number, which is a clear anodized aluminum, and that differentiates it from just a mill sort of piece of aluminum. So. The combination of its dimensional properties, its high performance silicone, and its clear anodized finish make it a great choice, uh, is what I'm driving at. There is a link below this video to a document called Catalog. The Catalog is a one page sheet from the full line catalog showing this door sweep and its sister products. You will see a reference for the silicone sweep. It's available in the A finish, which is this, clear anodized. It's available in the B finish, which is gold. They call it brass. It's available in the DKB, dark bronze. And what's not listed there, but it is listed in the price list, is that it is available in the solid architectural bronze as well. And if you're doing a door that is solid architectural bronze, uh, a bronze or a brass door, bronze door, you'll be able to have a, an incredibly complimentary door sweep, meaning that that's the, the holder, not holder, but the uh, metal portion uh, is going to be solid architectural bronze, commonly referred to as brass. You're going to be able to have that in a mill finish, in a satin brass finish, like a 606 finish, a uh, polished brass finish, which would be 605, an oil rubbed bronze finish, which would be 613, and then they can get into other sorts of finishes as well. Uh, or it's technically possible to do other finishes because it's a solid piece of bronze is what it is. You can do architectural finishes on it. So three materials, aluminum based material, three finishes, architectural bronze, at least four finishes that you can do. So this is a very um, versatile, excellent choice. The only downside is if you're doing silicone, it's only in gray. Typically with something dark bronze uh, or gold or brass, uh, or any of those architectural bronze, you're generally looking at a black insert, generally, uh, just industry standard. So the silicone is always going to be gray. Also on that page will be all of the common neoprene versions, really differentiating themselves by height, profile changes, thickness of the material, uh, etc. One sweep that I don't sell a lot of, um, and I think because it's just not very well known in the marketplace, um, is polyurethane. That material is, at, without question, the highest perform, performance seal material that you can have on a door sweep. 
in terms of abrasion resistance, in terms of uh, resistance to fatigue with exposure to extreme temperatures, ultraviolet, sunlight, mildew, fungus, mold, all of that stuff. Nothing uh, really is able to attack polyurethane. So if you're looking for something incredibly high performance and significantly longer lasting than all of the above, go for, go for the polyurethane. Absolutely. I'd love to hear your feedback if you chose uh, polyurethane, you know, five years down the road. The reinforced sweep, that's a common sweep. We see those on, I won't name the name, but a, a nationwide industry leading uh, uh, drugstore. Uh, they use, that company uses that reinforced type sweep on their back doors. They like that double loop style. Um, I guess they feel that it gives a better, longer lasting sort of seal and a bit more flexible, I suppose. Now, this item uh, is available in all the common lengths in, in the website. If you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you want us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is, if you had to take this three foot piece and cut it down to 34 inch, you're pretty much going to eliminate that slotted hole there. And then the next one's all the way over here. You're stuck drilling another slotted hole, and naturally it's difficult to drill a slotted hole. Uh, so you'll have to end up doing that after you cut it down. I'm not a fan of doing more work uh, when it's uh, not necessary. I would be very tempted to just order it the size that I actually needed. The material, even if you're doing three foot doors, uh, three foot hollow metal doors where industry standard is 35 and 13 sixteenths or 35 and three quarter, um, order it that size. The silicone will come a little bit long. You can easily trim that if even necessary. Saving the work, you'll get a nice factory edge. You'll have the proper slotted hole distance from the edge, the proper center to center. And speaking of those, screws are indeed included in a complimentary finish. They say, well, they say that those screws are stainless steel in the, in the published data, but they're not, they're, they're ferrous based. Uh, if you need specifically stainless steel screws, indicate that in the comment field. Um, so if you ordered a custom length, we'll give you that. You'll, uh, you'll have your slotted hole. You will have to drill through the back side of the silicone. This material comes from the factory just held on with adhesive. And it's when you get the installation permanent with the uh, slotted hole is when that there's a final uh, join uh, uh, connection between the silicone the aluminum or bronze, and then the door. Uh, that slotted hole is nice to have there. It allows you to contour to a, a sill that may not be exactly level or a frame that's not plumb. All of those job site conditions. If you don't have a great seal at the bottom, it's akin to not having a seal at all. Uh, you know, if you have a sixteenth of an inch times the entire width of the door or half of the width of the door that's not perfectly sealed, that adds up. That adds up to uh, some square inches there. So moving forward, that link to the catalog is there. There's a link to a document called installation instructions, which, you know, measure, cut to length, et cetera, attach. Uh, dimensionally, there is an image below this video showing the important dimensional products of this sweep. You can see indirectly that it's 1 and 11 sixteenths overall height. You've got an inch and a quarter of aluminum, then you've got 7 sixteenths of uh, silicone. The thickness of this is probably about a quarter inch, maybe just shy. Yeah, maybe three sixteenths. Uh, and it's going to be great for a typical hollow metal door installation where you've got a quarter inch or a half inch uh, high threshold, three quarter inch undercut. It's great. Uh, excellent choice for that. Aluminum uh, storefronts as well. The name National Guard is synonymous with all things weather stripping related. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line National Guard product catalog. Everything as it pertains to commercial, primarily commercial weather stripping, some residential material. Uh, thresholds, door sweeps, perimeter gasketing, material made of aluminum like this, stainless steel, architectural bronze. Uh, I'm partial to National Guard and it's because of excellent quality material. The fit and finish is always above average. Their customer service and technical support is without exception. Uh, excellent. Industry leading ship times. If you have more than an occasional need for weather stripping, by all means familiarize yourself with the National Guard products catalog. If you have any questions on the National Guard 200 SA door sweep or any other National Guard product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.